I'm back once again with another timely reminder to use Squarespace if you're setting up a website, be it a passion project or a business, Squarespace is the perfect place to do just that. From online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace really is your one-stop shop to getting that beautiful, effective website. Now today we're going to be talking all things car crime, what on earth is going on and what it is I've been doing with my cars and my brother's been doing with his cars to stop them from being stolen. But before any of that, make sure you are using Squarespace and my link below when you're setting up your next site because it will get you a discount and you'll also be using the best in the game. Squarespace have got loads of features on there that enable you to build that beautiful website, but also very simply as well. There's loads and loads of features like mobile optimization, SEO optimization. You can build subscription models, you can build members areas, and you can also set up beautiful email campaigns. Not only totally that, but there's loads of beautiful templates on there as well. So you don't even need to design one from scratch. There's loads of templates already in there that look super professional at the click of a button. Anyway, my link is below there. Go and check it out when you use Squarespace. Make sure you save a bookmark to it if you're not ready yet. And let's get on with the video. Talk all things car crime. Hello, hello, and welcome back to TGTV. And more specifically, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to quite a serious video, actually. We are back at Pandora London. I've got my Brabus inside, and my brother has just turned up in his Range Rover because today we are talking all things car crime. Car crime has been a massive issue, particularly over the past couple of years. It's getting worse and worse by the day, and seemingly there isn't really anything that's safe. And there is a massive disparity between what insurance companies are advising people to do, what people are doing, and what actually stops your car from getting stolen. It is a topic that I'm incredibly passionate about. I'm actually a little bit paranoid behind the scenes. I'm incredibly up on my security. I'm completely well some would think overboard i'm pretty on the ball with it and so is my brother so we're going to go through what the problem is what we think is going to happen down the line in the future and what you can do to stop your car from being stolen because it is no good just listening to the insurance company and doing insurance company advised measures only i can't stress that enough it really isn't good enough and if you want to ever get insured again you do not want a car nicked it's all very well and good being paid out but if you've got a lease car or anything like that you don't have gap insurance you can find yourself in a massive massive hole Anyway, we're gonna get into all of that. We've got my brother here. He's actually okay. That's his cue to get out of the car. There he is. Yeah, there you go. Nice you and smooth. You've been on the channel for ages. No, you haven't. Hello, I've been James. Excited and nervous at the same time. No, you're back. Well done. Yeah, no, I'm back. Good. And you've still got your yeah, Range Rover. No, you haven't fallen out. I've got my Top Boy. I mean, I've got my Range Rover. Yeah, you've got Top Boy spec. You've got Sully spec Range Rover. Do Shane get out the back? <laughs> Oh, Luckily, Deshane is not in the car. So today, okay. then, you've got your range over here. We're living in completely different locations. Um, yep. We've both sacked London off because of actually because of crime. But your car has got the Pandora system on it. We've done a yep. full video on the Range Rover package yep. that you had fitted to this car because you do still spend a lot of time in London, in cities, yeah, driving around the place, and you leave the car around all over the place. Um, and it's still here. It hasn't been stolen. Yeah, I just. I, do you know what's crazy? Insurance at the moment, so I got my renewal and my broker was like, it's almost impossible to get insured on a Range Rover. Yet when you do get insured, all they wanted was an S5 tracker, which they can still nick the car and rip it out. And I was like, I don't want my car getting nicked. Hence, we've obviously got the Pandora thing in the, in the first place. I'm really, have a, really glad I have, like since I got it fitted, I cannot tell you the amount of people that are just like, this is being nicked. It's not even just Range Rovers, it's like, Honestly, daily, everything. Lexus, we're, everything. I mean, yeah, we're going to get into that because there's a, there's a car in there being worked on at the moment, but there's, yeah, there's all sorts going on. But it's time to actually get something fitted to the Brabus. Yeah, people asked if I coded this in. Ready? I like this bit. Yeah, so that means the pan. Jump. <laughs> Now, do you know what I like as well? I get notifications on my phone, Tom, so if anyone touches it or does anything. Tell me, yeah, okay, right. Let's, let's just do a little brief overview of what Pandora go. is. Armed. That's my father. Don't worry about him for now. Yeah, we'll get him off. We don't want him on the internet. Thank you very much, everyone. Okay, so you've got all your notifications on here. Pandora's got a really, really cool app anyway that tells you everything that's going on with the car. Even if someone knocks it, they try and open the door. Anything like that, you'll get told about it. But that is not the clever part. So let's go through what insurance companies then recommend. We're going to get into the G-Wagon and what I'm doing with this because I do not want this going chaos and you can tell it's armed because of that extra little chirp that you can hear so then as you said insurance companies will literally just recommend as they have done with this just to get an s5 tracker or sometimes yeah. an s7 tracker or which is sometimes they just say a subscription based tracker but that doesn't stop the car going in the first place is what i still don't understand like i don't want the car being nicked and then being told it's been nicked and then it being followed for 30 seconds while they tear the dashboard out and then going oh we've lost the signal which is basically what happens because you yeah. won't get insured again no I and 
And trackers, well, yeah, great. The theory's fantastic, and it was enough a few years ago. It really isn't enough now. Thieves are so, so smart, and even with the immobilizer technology that's come onto the market, thieves have got around that too. A few years ago, the immobilizer was fine, tracker was fine, and actually, that was a pretty secure solution. But things, as they do, always move on, and thieves have got around all of that kind of stuff. In yeah. fact, somewhere I know, very recently, six Volvo 4x4s went in one night. Volvos. We've got a Lexus in here. It's brand new, still with them. Being worked on. Anything with keyless go, any brand new car these days, Lexus, Toyota being hit really heavily actually at the moment for some reason. But Volvo 4x4, so your XC90s, your XC60s, they're getting absolutely whacked. So six of those were spotted on AMPR um, leaving the other day out of, out of an area basically. It's crazy. I was on holiday actually and there was a, a couple and they had the whole drive robbed, which was two AMGs. So obviously all the high-end stuff, the M's, the AMGs just go 10 a pen. But what people don't realize is, obviously this is a fantastic car, but it's not sure. high performance. It's not your typical bank robber, drug dealer, scumbag car like that, or now like these actually are. <laughs> yeah, Top Boy's done yeah, that. Cheers, Top Boy. Like, they were on their way out before that. Yeah. So um, yeah, what made people think, oh, I've only got, Mercedes GLB, that went in the same night. There was one Mercedes and like six Volvos yeah. went in one night. Um, yeah, anything with keyless entry basically, SUVs particularly. Um, anything and everything. Mm. Like for, for Cougars, anything. Just people's family car, it's just, it's just yeah, it's, it's sad to be but my whole thing is I don't want my car being nicked because of the massive stress, upset and inconvenience. If it does get nicked, even if you can battle with the insurance to get the value, which is a nightmare, you then have the battle of, oh no, we're not insuring that again. Or if we do insure it, it's gonna cost two, three times what you paid before, which is unaffordable, and therefore you, in, by default, can't have the car. Yeah. I don't wanna be in that situation. And like you said at the beginning of the video, it's not scaremongering. I can't tell you a day where I don't get a message from someone that follows me on Instagram, or someone that I know that hasn't had someone try and nick their car or nick their car. Yeah, it's, as that. So, it's absolutely nuts. And it's spreading way out. It's not just like, it was quite confined, now it's anywhere and everywhere. So we'll tackle as well, because in the last video we said, ghosts can be bypassed. Yes, so uh, like this video is not about ridiculing other products. Having something over and above what you have to have in a basic is always a good thing. Mm. But like everything I do when I spend my money, I'm just a nerd, I can want to have. I feel with security, either do it properly or it's sort of. Yeah, and Pandora's got multiple layers. Yeah. Ghost, if you, if you know where ghosts are fitted and you can, you can basically rip them out pretty quickly. You can bypass them. It's not the most difficult thing in the world. Ghost 2 is a better product, but again, it, it's not enough for us. It's not completely infallible, and the stats are showing that cars are going with ghosts in them. And it's not poo-pooing ghosts, because a lot of cars are being saved yeah. if you've got one of those. But for, for us too, we're a little bit paranoid. You know, we're in the public eye a little bit, and we just thought, you know, go whole hog. So why this is clever then, you could give me the key right now, drive off in that, and you could turn it off yeah. straight away. Yeah. And in fact, if you get in that and you can fire it up, the system, if it's armed, it will cut it out instantly. And if for whatever reason, you manage to drive off and you manage to get the system disabled, <coughs> even if you disabled it and let someone drive off, gave them your keys and said, go on, off you go, they would get 15 meters up the road before you can turn it off remotely with your phone. You can actually just cut the whole car and there is no reviving it once you turn no, it no, off. No, it just dies. It's, like it's, it's gone. The hazards come on, it slows down to a stop. It doesn't just cut. It's really, really clever. It's actually quite funny. We did a demo in the last video, but if you want more nerdy stuff about Range Rovers and all that kind of stuff, obviously the technology does apply to other cars and we will be getting pretty much exactly the same system fitted to this with a slightly different back end system because these are based on different things, but we're gonna have the same fitted to yeah. this car as well. Obviously, I've had to get a tracker fitted, uh, the basic insurance thing, just to tick the box, otherwise it's not insured, but actually I've taken matters into my own hand and gone completely overboard. So we're gonna get that fitted as well, because I don't want it going walkies. I don't want to be, do you know what it is as well, the paranoia side of things, I don't want to be out constantly worrying. Mm. And also what I like about the notification stuff as well is if, even if someone taps it or hits it, whatever, even if I'm not buying my car, I'm in tune with what's going on. So if someone tries to lift that, I'm acutely aware of what's going on. Yeah, I just know, I don't know, it's, just, it's a nice piece of, piece of mind. Yeah, absolutely. And as I've always said as well, physical, physical deterrents are fantastic as well. These guys actually will do IntelliPost for you. So they're actually, I think they've got a slight discount on them. So if you do 
want any bits done to your car, um, they actually work with IntelliPost as well. So IntelliPost physical stuff is really, really good, particularly when it's on your driveway at home. Having a physical deterrent just means that they don't even try it in the car in the first place. They don't break in, they don't start faffing around with wires and ripping at things and trying things and trying to find canvas sensors and all that kind of stuff. They will literally just drive past your property, see a bollard, and disappear off. Um, so these guys actually have got to deal with IntelliPost and they will sort that out as well. But when you're out and about, you go out for dinner, you're, you know, you're parking up, you're out of work, you leave at a service station, whatever, you go yeah, and get a Burger King. You don't want to come out and find your car gone walkies. A friend of mine went for a coffee the other day, God honest truth, in London, I won't say what area of London because people think I'm slating it, I'm not, it's a really nice affluent part of London. Broad daylight, daylight went to Starbucks, got a coffee, came back car gone. Wow, and he had a ghost. Did he have a ghost? I don't know what he had. Do you know what? I don't think he had anything, but I think a lot of people watching this video would believe that that, like, would think that's actually, like, surely that doesn't happen. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. People take stuff broad daylight in front of people. It's just, it's, no, it has to have something. No one cares anymore. Like, and I put a steering lock on that, but I'm comfortable also knowing that if a steering lock isn't on there, that's more to stop people, like you said, getting in the car, causing damage, causing drama, just thinking, hopefully they think I'll just leave it alone. I'm going Nick next door's car instead of yours. Yeah, but I know that if I do just hop out and run into the shop or something, well, it's cool, it's fine. Yeah, and why I think also, I, I really like the idea of Pandora being able to shut the car down, is if someone threatens you for your keys and says, give me your keys, they come in your house, they put a gun to your head, and they say, give me your car, you can go, go on then, 100%. Off you go, don't hurt me, don't hurt my kids, don't hurt my dogs, whatever it is. See you later, and then you can just shut it off down the road. And that's really worst, worst, worst case scenario. There's been, there's been, I know that the guys here said they had one, and a good friend of mine had his friend's SVR taken with force, and they got into the car with the keys, then realised it had a ghost. Again, not poo-poo and ghost, but if you think of ghost as like a pin code, same as me marching into the bank with your bank, bank card. Yeah. They said, give me ghost code, the knife. And we gave them code. But now he can't shut the car, he can't do anything else. Mm. And he was like, you know, so I actually like the fact that, look, worst case scenario, God forbid, if someone does threaten my life for the car, take it, step away, safe, mm. hazards are coming down the road. Yeah, wait for them to be a few miles away, then turn it off. Yeah, and then I can get all sunny and the shade on them. Yeah, and obviously on the app you can see where the car is. Yeah, exactly. So, interestingly though, insurance companies, for, at the point at which we're filming this, interestingly, insurance companies, because I think there's various backhanders going on and whatnot, I can only assume this is why, mm. they don't recognize yet systems like this, even though literally, these systems physically, factually stop car theft. They don't no. recognize this They're top notch. Behind it, the time, the it, it's thing. behind the times, it will be coming in, but it's, this isn't something we're doing to get cheaper insurance. You can tell the insurance company, and a lot of the time, if you've got a high, if you've got a high value policy and a specific like manual underwriting policy where they go through like with a specialist, they will look at precautions yeah. that you've taken, yeah. and they'll take that into account because there's a human at the other end. But if you're just doing a compare the market on a couple of sort of family cars, that won't get taken into consideration. So we're not saying get one of these systems and get cheap insurance. That's not what it's about. It's literally about saving your money here in the long run when like your car you doesn't go walkies. As well. Like I, my aversion like my security issue isn't about making the insurance company happy, it's about stopping my car getting stolen. That's yeah. my main priority. Yeah. Probably worth ticking the box. I have to have a certain tracker in that for the insurance policy to be valid. Mm. But these guys here do that as well. So I was like, right, put the tracker in that it needs. We did that obviously. Yeah. But I know that it can still easily be stolen with that tracker. So actually my main focus is on to leave it here with the car being secure, which is what I did. Mm. I don't understand that mentality of like, well, is covered, I'll get paid out because the people are getting quotes of 12, 14, 16 grand a year for a Range Rover if they've had one nicked. Mm. Factoring the cost of an alarm, you're crazy. If you've got a lease car as well. But if you don't have gap insurance, oh! Yeah, oh. you've had it. You'll be end up. You, you, you're paying for a car for the next few years that you don't even have. No, it's a, to me, it's a false economy. So, anyway, I, I could rant to the council. I think it's worth saying as well, these videos. <laughs> The amount of people we see going through hardship and that message us, this is more like, a, I feel like a Martin Lewis's security. People aren't aware until it's too late and they're like, I wish I'd seen this video. I wish you'd told me that sooner. I wish we knew. And they actually, no. a lot of the customers they get in here for these, they were saying are people that have already been, been robbed. Yeah. And now they go, I wish I'd known all this stuff and they're never letting it happen again. Yeah. Don't be that person. Don't be that person. And actually, thieves really yeah exactly why and should also, people take stuff off you being a bit of a good citizen about it the more people that take pride in their car getting nicked the next uh, the less less cars that get stolen all yeah. of our insurance policies will drop there we go and you'll remember as well i forgot to mention i had my lusso uh, my gtc4 lusso in here um, that had a system done on it as well, GT3 done as well 
your GT3 as well, yeah. that's been in here. So my Lusso was actually here. It's got the full system because there's a massive problem with Ferraris. A very niche audience, obviously. How many people have got that? Yeah, 812s are getting walk going walkies willy-nilly, and I would not, and I refuse to use my Lusso until this came in for a system because I do not want to park it up in London, come back, because we see them scanning the keys on the side of the road. I can buy the machine. I've seen yeah, it on Snapchat. I can buy it. the key coding machine that literally you can plumb in a new key for those new Ferraris on the side of the street and drive off with it. Yeah. All you gotta do, do that, park it around the corner, leave it for three days. If the tracker's not working, happy days, you've got a free Ferrari. And that is actually how simple it is. And it's, dis it's disgusting and yeah. there shouldn't be people like that, but there are. They've cracked the code on it. They've cracked the code for all other keyless entry cars pretty much on the market. And to my mind, there's just absolutely no point in not doing this stuff. I would think, and I'm, not think, I'm thinking like a criminal now, when they approach a car that's got a system on it, they may not know it's a Pandora or whatever, but when they can't open the car, mm. even in the first instance with the technology they normally have to get into it, that should be to them as a thief being like, okay, the chances are that's pro probably going to be a pig to nick. Mm. It should hopefully just avoid any drama around your car, because if you have a go hero or you're someone that in a fight or flight situation finds yourself like wading into the situation, let's not forget your life is at stake with these idiots. It's just, I don't know. It's just, to me, I just think it's a no-brainer. It's not a huge amount of money as well when you fit factor in everything. Yeah. It's, it's the cost awesome. of the system is probably about half what your policy will go up the next year. Oh, okay. And that's before you get into what your insurance companies valued your car at and all that kind of stuff. That's if you can even get insured. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I've got friends now selling Range Rovers because their policies are now eight, nine thousand pounds for a previous generation Range Rover. In actual fact, you might have some tips on this because your insurance on this went up to what was it? What did they it, say? That doubled. That what, doubled. What, what? What? What's that? What was that going to be? Uh, four and a bit grand. Four and a bit. Oh, that's not the end of the world. It's not, but it's a piss take. Um, yep. But you can't street park it, you can't do loads of, like... The, the, How did you manage to get it insured in the end? Have you got any tips on that? So the best way to do it was to move all my cars onto one policy so that the, the insurance company that's managing those cars mm. splits your risk, not just into one egg in one basket, it's yeah. multiple cars and therefore it, it, they, they'll accept it. But if I was to try and insure that on its own, I think mm. I'd struggle. Yeah, and that's where, that's where a couple of my friends are at. And, and, and like you said before, the Pandora, I didn't get the Pandora system to be like, oh, are you happy insurance? I did it for myself, for my client to be naked. They, they, don't, they, they don't care. They're like, have you got the tracker we step, uh, put in your policy? If yes, fine. Even though I know the car will get nicked overnight. So, ignorance is not bliss is the summary of that situation, Tom. But yeah. anyway, we're in, we're in for the Brabus to be done. I we're in for the Brabus. What's interesting, any car from now on, because of what we've been looking at, Lexuses, yeah. like my, our, our mother, the woman that gave birth to us, mm. <laughs> She had three of these nicked from her road, three in one night. Chaos. It's just, they just come and steam it. And you said six Volvos. From... So if you're watching this and your dad's got a car and it's relatively unassuming, get with this one, get, get a system. Or mum, or two mums, or two dads. Is my mum your mum? She said she is. I don't know. Get in the comments, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't Wait, Tom, do you know what I've got today? I haven't been on the channel for a while and I do behave like an idiot, but how good are Tic Tacs? Yeah, they do slap. They are unreal. I, I got this box earlier today. Yeah. Well, uh, unreal, but my breath is not poo poo. <laughs> okay, good. Other little tips actually that me and you kind of would do. We, we do use steering locks religiously. I think disc locks are good. Layers. Disc locks, it's layers. It's layers, ladies and gentlemen. So every little thing, you want a little thing every step of the way. You want some physical, you want some visible, you want some digital, digital you want some, you know, every little thing is a layer and it's just another thing that will either prevent someone bothering in the first place, because let's be honest, these as well, if, you've, if you're doing various things and you put various layers on one of these, there's no shortage of these. They'll just nick someone else's. Not everyone's going to get top security. There will still be people with company cars that just don't care, that just think that it's just a free-for-all, and they're not going to bother, even though you should. Go on. Can I speak? Yep. I, I'm going to put um, a little exclusive for anyone that's watched the video this far. I've confirmed a new car, Tom. I confirmed a new you. car. Confirmed a new car. I'll be back here with it. Well done. Don't want to give you any clues. Is it it's... very easily stolen? Yeah, everything is. So, by default, it is. You won't know. It's funny. Is it a one of one? It's very customised, let's just say that. Okay, amazing. Well, I'm excited. Is it, yeah. I'll give you a clue. Is it aggressive like that? It's, it's so aggressive, people might insult me. Perfect. And there's a bit of a colour theme in there. Okay, good. Do you like what I did? Yeah. Do they look blue? 
Uh, yeah, I don't know with this camera really. There's a okay. lot of crumbs well, in the lens. That was a clue for people anyway. Perfect. All right yeah. then. Good. Let's get the system fit and we'll go and find some experts here because they're upstairs and we're going to have a little chit chat with them as well and get some, because we haven't covered everything. Do you know and I, I do want to make this video informative, you know, I don't want to just be like, this is my car, look how nice it is. I actually like to think and like with your video with this here, I like to think that we have prevented I know I have. our I audiences cars yeah. getting thieved. There have been cars that haven't been stolen as a result of that video yeah. and what these guys do, which is amazing. Hands I mean, up. I don't get anything out of this, by the way. I've come here to get my car fitted and we filmed it to help other people. Yeah. Come here. I think it's an interesting topic. I'm yeah. obsessed with yeah. crime. I just think crime is the most interesting thing in the world. Well, it's not the most. Do you know what, as well, actually, I need to ask them because I've got, um, ah, I've got a new motorbike coming on. And um, I'll, I'll yeah, want they do it for motorbikes as well. Yeah, I, I, I need to find out more. Okay, so we've got the two boss men here, the men in the know. We've, we've given it our best to explain what on earth's going on and what we've been doing to our cars. Um, but I actually wanted to fire some questions at you because we got so many questions off the last video, which is actually sort of on the screen up there. We've got loads and loads of questions. I just wanted to fire a few things at you. What, I touched on it earlier, but what sort of cars are you guys getting in? What is it that you get? What's your typical kind of customer profile? What are they driving and why are they here? So, quite a straightforward one. Pretty much everything from Audis, BMWs, right the way through to Bentleys and Ferraris. It's a range of things, not just SUVs, yeah. hot hatches, and your normal everyday school run cars. So, Kias, we're talking about there's a the Lexus downstairs, isn't there? Quite a lot of Lexuses, Toyotas, RAV4s, things that you wouldn't expect that you need to have aftermarket security, they're being targeted. Mental. It's, it's quite crazy, but it is how car crime is now. It's everything that's being targeted. Yeah. Effectively, if it's push to start, mm. there is a threat that it can be taken fairly easily. Yeah. And we need to implement lots of layers to prevent this from going. Perfect. And actually something, we are just discussing this, EVs. I rather ignorantly thought EVs were pretty safe. I thought there was just something about them being an EV that makes them safe. Um, but a friend of mine recently did have his Taycan taken, um, and you actually had a Kia EV6 in the other day. It was a very nice EV. Actually, the EVs are probably ones that we're going to see a lot more of just because people aren't going that extra mile to put additional security on board. Yeah. So, you think it's a brand new car, it should be good enough out of the factory, and it's an electric car, so they can't take it in the same way. Yeah. No, you're wrong. Again, very easy to take. Unfortunately, because most people aren't putting any additional security on board, Yeah. we need additional measures to prevent it from going. Multi-layered security that yeah. target these cars specifically, so we can shut them down safely and securely. Yeah, and I think, and I hope this isn't the case, but over the next few years, with the lithium kind of um, supply, and obviously lithium being a depleting resource, I do think potentially there'll be cars being nicked, EVs being nicked for lithium down the line. Once these criminal gangs get hold of a way of recycling batteries on the dodge and actually using this lithium and managing to utilize uh, value out of lithium, I think we'll see an issue with that as well. So you're not safe with EVs. At the moment, I guess criminal gangs aren't prioritizing the value in the parts or anything like that. And I guess less of them are being nicked at the moment, but I think we will still start to see that picking up. Um, so yeah, you're not safe. Teslas, you don't get that many calls on them, but again, it's more than worth having a discussion with you guys with what you can do with that, um, and I might well have a chat with you guys. I physically haven't done anything with that car because I just, I actually can't stand it, so I could do with the insurance money on that one. Uh, <laughs> so another nerdy question then, single point immobilizers then. So the insurance companies are specifying that you need something on your car, an immobilizer. There tend to be single points, single cuts, is this right? Single point or single layered immobilization. Yeah. So Typically, they're going to immobilize the starting circuit of the vehicle. That's what your insurance company might request. The problem is, this will not prevent most vehicles from going. The mm. majority of vehicles need multiple cuts in order to be safe, and other vehicles that have additional ways of starting the vehicle, such as an emergency start method, or some kind of dealer tool that allows the vehicle to start without the push to start button being pressed, yep. will potentially be at a bigger risk than your generalized cars that still have a bladed key yeah. or something like a, a laser based key. And those and the emergency start uh, boxes, I actually I think I've seen those being punted around on Snapchat. I saw one uh, for Ferraris being punted around. I think it was like five, ten grand, something like that. So that's actually something that starts in the dealer network 
to all intents and purposes, but then invariably ends up in the criminal networks. It's basically for people in garages that if the car's absolutely screwed, they can still fire the car up without the keys just as an emergency measure. But that then finds its way out or it gets coded uh, and then hey presto, you can go and buy one and then sort of emergency start a car on the side of the road, which is super scary. There's an 812, there's a video going, I'm sure it'll be a click in the video, but there's an 812 that was going off the street in London the other day, four guys turned up, two scooters, open the door, get in, he reverses it, bumps into the car behind as if it's his car and just drop off. Unreal. And, it, and he did it in, it was mental. Well, yeah. It's, it's not just supercars. No, no, yeah. That's the problem. If you're his Lexuses, we're seeing a, a widening trend of Lexuses and Toyotas. Yeah, what is it with that? I guess it's parts. I mean, you were saying actually with Range Rover as well, you know, you look for parts on um, on an SVR and the parts are on back order. You physically can't get. So you need a new radiator or front bumper or whatever it is for, for a brand new Range Rover or Range Rover SVR, even the previous shapes. They're on back order with JLR. So actually that is a kind of a, an unknown driving force of this sort of criminal market whereby it's not just the car it's parts you know people are people are wiping each other out for 200 quid these days if you can make 10 15 grand out of a bumper and some radiators and a set of wheels and blah blah in a night by going and nicking a car that's you know that's not a bad business but that's exactly what's actually happening yeah it's a case of it literally is the parts that they're after so exactly as you said the same things happened to me i hit a deer i oh, yeah. i didn't want to tell them about that i'm a vegan i'm going to cry about that the deer was fine the deer was fine you got a vet out actually you got a vet the deer was fine he's back up and running ethical pandora i love it destroyed the front of the car yeah now i don't want to put it through insurance because the insurance is eight and a half thousand pounds if we put it through and i don't want them not insured next year but finding the parts gone to Range Rover or the bumper or the radiator or the plastic parts they're coming in in drips and drabs over the last sort of six to eight weeks or so I've had to glue the front bumper together now I even went on to eBay see if I could find one on there and they are silly money yeah. or they don't exist there are money. overs there's an um, overs market five grand for something that 1600 pounds from range Rover. hyperinflation yeah yeah and then you've got to spray it and everything else so what creates the back market? It, at this moment in time I'm not buying off eBay because it will fund what's criminality on, criminality yeah exactly yep. so I am waiting for my bumper at the moment it's glued together so. that's absolutely that's nuts. not a service you offer here at Pandora no, no, no. no it's just another <laughs> <one. Yeah. laughs> No, no, you don't want us gluing your bumper bumper <laughs> You've done an alright job of it, to be yeah, fair. It's not so bad. It's, it's, it's legal, should we say? Yeah, yeah it's absolutely it's fine. Good. Okay then, just to conclude then, for those that have kind of not managed to decipher James and I getting excited about car security for the past 20 minutes, what makes what you guys do different to what else is out there and why is it important that people come to you guys and actually have a chat with you? What is it that makes it different? Uh, well... 27 years of experience in the security industry and the reason why is Pandora is all about layers of security, let's put yep. it that way. So an immobilizer could be one layer, an alarm system could be another layer, uh, an immobilizer itself could be just say one immobilization point where we will fit two, three, four, however many is necessary to keep that car safe. And something that we could say fit to a BMW may not work on a Range Rover to secure it against this relay theft, emergency star, OBD port theft, and all these different ways. So the way Pandora works is we have these packages that are tailored to each vehicle, but we don't just fit Lamborghinis, Range Rovers, Ferraris, and everything else that you may see on all the social media. We also are doing Lexuses, RAV4s, and everything that Ricky was obviously saying beforehand. We have a package for everything, whether it's an immobilizer, an immobilizer with alarm system, an immobilizer with alarm system with GSM connection, where it's notifying you for your phone, yeah, we literally have everything, and that's what it's about: layers and layers and layers of security. And then Thatcher at the moment are going on about how there is a lot of Thatcher Cat Two immobilizers that are sort of being pushed through the market to secure the cars. But they're all fair enough; they're ticking boxes. It's the same with the S Fives and the S Sevens; they're ticking boxes. But Pandora is there to stop this from happening. So if you've had a car stolen beforehand, you'll know what it's like. You can't find that vehicle again, or whichever else and you're, you're penalised as well for your, for your insurance company as well. Yeah. The Pandora stuff is Thatcham Category 1, uh, which is the highest you can get. It's an alarm and an immobiliser, and it's the way it's fitted to the car as well. It's, it's the best you can get. It's as simple as that. Amazing. Perfect. Well, thank you very much for that.
I've learned a lot again. I thought I knew it all, but I've, I've learned even more. And hopefully you've learned something from the videos we've done here. Probably less so from us guys, but um, yeah, it was an absolute pleasure. Thank you very much. And th uh, yeah, thanks for kind of mucky and actually preventing thefts. We're actually saying from the previous video that James and I did here, we've had people that have had the system fitted and their car hasn't gone walkies as a result <laughs> of it. So yeah, yeah this channel's actually does some good for a change. The proof is there. Yeah. yeah. The proof's absolutely there. All right, thank you very much. I'm going to go and see the Brabus now. Should be done, and we'll uh, go and have a little walk around that, and then we'll get on with our, our lives. And I'll stop poking a camera in your face. Thanks very much. <laughs> nice one. Here we are then. It looks obviously exactly the same as it did before, but I'll put a screen recording on the screen right now. Basically, just a little uh, snippet of the user face of Pandora. That is the app, and that was what will tell me if anyone touches it, knocks it, and it's super, super sensitive. So even if I whacked it like that, it will come up on the app. And obviously that is the one that you use to shut the car down. You can track where it is. You can unlock it, lock it, turn the lights on, all sorts of stuff from the app. And as they said before, there are three points of immobilization as well. So it is not just one place. So that is the G-Wagon protected. And I'm going to get on my way now. You are, I don't know what you're doing. You're probably going to do a separate video. Yeah, I'll get discuss on your... my new car, Tom. I'll discuss my new car and what, what, what we can do. Okay, well, get on his Instagram anyway. But obviously, inquire with Pandora. Give them a shout. It's not the sort of thing that you just really go online and just sort of add to car. It's not an e-com type thing. Speak to the guys here because they will be able to advise a package for you that suits your budget. It is not dirt cheap. So don't expect a system to be 50 quid. It is not 50 50 quid, but it is well worth every single penny, and there are varying levels. I go for the top package, James goes for the top package, but there are varying levels available, but they won't just give you a single lead immobilizer, unless you're absolutely desperate for one for some reason, um, which I can't really work out why. But they will do the insurance related stuff as well. So the box ticking exercise for insurance, they'll do that, but I strongly, strongly advise getting your own system done properly on top. For now then, over and out, and as I said throughout the video as well, if you do want to IntelliPost, these guys will sort that out for you as well. Many people get this system and they also protect their driveways as well. So make sure you do inquire about that. See you later, guys. Do let me know your comments on that. And I want to hear your stories as well. There are so many car crime stories, quite a serious topic. So do keep the stories coming because ultimately that is an education piece. The thieves are rapidly developing. And every time some new technique gets used, it's important that people share that so companies can get on top of that like Pandora and actually prevent things from happening. So thank you very much for watching. Ciao for now. Toodle pip. And hopefully the next video will be a slightly more cheery topic. Bye.